bringing you today's video from down in here. I have just been in there doing intervals and some Wim Hof style breathing. In fact, I was just, I was over there. Hang on, there. You know me, trying to catch the thumbnail for the video as well while I'm doing this stuff. Okay, let me just squat down here by this river. Let's get some good light, let's get the light in. About there, that'll do. I've got a stick out of my head. So, as a plane goes over, I don't know if you can see it. The message I've got for you today, the video I've got for you today. When was the last time you got outside of your comfort zone? Yesterday I shared about doing something for the first time. When's the last time you really got out of your comfort zone, mentally and physically? I did intervals down in there this morning. The stream runs fast enough for me to do intervals there. Let me show you how, I don't know if I can show you how fast this stream is running by getting in it. I hope I don't drop this phone. Hang on, let's show you, let's show you the phone. It's a little bit, it's a little bit more powerful over in there. But it's the perfect, it's the perfect speed for me to do intervals. Look at this, that was what I was looking at. That's what I was, so, I did intervals there, my rest I've kind of floated downstream and then I had a bit of a walk back up. So, I was outside my comfort zone because it's the first time really that I've done proper intervals in a river ever. I was right outside my comfort zone, let's get some good lighting, hang on. Hang on, hang on, it's all about the lighting on these videos. Um, yeah, outside my comfort zone physically, really pushing hard doing some interval training, but then at the end of it, after I did my 20 minutes or so interval training, I sat in there, and I did some meditating. I'm freezing cold, I'm shaking. Sorry if the camera's shaking. I'll try and hold it still for you. I did some meditating in there. And the whole time I was meditating, my mind was racing. I felt a couple of fish kind of nibble at me. I heard something jump out of the water or jump into the water. Um, it also, at one point, sounded like the floodgates had been opened upstream. And, uh, and like a flurry of water was coming and my mind was just going, going, going. But because I've practiced meditation and because I've practiced mindfulness and, and detachment from thoughts, I was able to sit and observe all of those thoughts. I'm still shaking, I'm absolutely freezing now. But even now, like with that whole, I'm shaking, I'm freezing, I could be panicking and worrying, but I'm not my thoughts, I'm not even my body. And that's the same as you, you're not your thoughts, you're not your body. You're the awareness that's behind them. I don't wanna to go too deep on this video for today because I wanna catch as many people as I can with it. I don't wanna um, lose, lose the importance of the message. I don't wanna lose people that need to hear this by now by, by getting a bit too out there and deep and esoterical. But essentially, when's the last time you got out of your comfort, like really got out of your comfort zone, did something that scared you? Do something every day that scares you. That's what's gonna help you grow, that's what's gonna help you adapt, but that's also what's gonna help you keep calm under pressure, whether it's a job interview, whether it's a first date, whether it's becoming a parent, whether it's leaving a relationship. The more you can get outside of your comfort zone on a daily basis, the easier life's gonna get for you because you're not just challenging yourself. Like I wasn't just challenging myself, I've gotta get in the sun, I'm freezing. I wasn't just challenging myself physically in there doing the interval training. I was challenging myself mentally as well with the intervals, but also with the, with the meditation down in there. This is just absolutely gorgeous this morning. I am so blessed to be having this experience right now. When's the last time you did something for you as well? Something so beautiful like this. Let's get back in that shade. So I appreciate when you're watching a video, you want to see it with good lighting. You don't want to see terrible lighting. Really, it's a, it's a short video today. It's a short, sharp video. I don't want to go much deeper on this one. Let's see if we can get a thumbnail today. That'll do for the thumbnail, I think. Thank you very much for watching the thumbnail bit. Get outside your comfort zone. Physically and mentally. Go push yourself. Go challenge yourself. Share in the comments the last time you went outside your comfort zone. What did you do to get outside your comfort zone? I'm always learning, I wanna know new things on how to get outside your comfort zone. 
When's the last time you got outside your comfort zone? What did you do? Let me know. I might drop some ideas in the comments. But I promise you, if you can, if you can get outside your comfort zone physically and mentally on a daily basis, life really does open up for you. God, this camera's shaking like crazy. I'm so cold. Let's see if I can hold it with the other hand. Should we go in there with that one? I don't know if that works. There's some old like stuff hanging off the trees and stuff. Seriously, go get outside your comfort zone. You will not regret it. I promise you. Look at this sunbeam coming down from here. Get outside your comfort zone, get into places like this. Life just gets better and better for you. I don't want to just sound like a broken record now. Thank you very much for watching today's video. If you've got any questions, comments, let me know. If you want to support the channel, you can like, you can share, you can comment, you can subscribe, you can donate. Go and get outside your comfort zone. I promise you it will be the best thing that you'll do for yourself. Take care and I will see you soon. In fact, don't take care. Go and challenge yourself. Take risks and I'll speak to you soon.